Today I'm testing viral Minecraft tricks, secrets and hacks to see if they actually work or are just clickbait. Watch until the end because once you've seen these, your life will never be the same. Okay, what do we got up first here, guys? A bunch of pistons. Ooh, some sort of a redstone device. All right, all right. What is going on here, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm a bit confused. Okay, bunch of pressure plates. Is this some sort of, like, piston trap? Maybe this is an awesome way to troll your friends. Oh, I hope so, guys. And then fences on the corners to do what exactly? Okay, a ship. Oh, it's an animal Oh, the poor cows. They can't escape, guys. They're trying to walk out. And the fence is like, whoa, whoa. No more traveling long distances to go find your sheeps or cows. No, you just need to build this contraption and you'll be able to trap animals like there's no tomorrow. Bang, bang, boop, boop, bop, bang, boop, bop, bop, bop. Go to the outside in our pistons. Let's try this. We'll put our fences around the outside. Redstone in the center. Oh, and then what? They just covered all of this up, I think, and then put pressure plates around. Let's grab our pressure plates here, guys. We'll stand on them. Okay, so when these pressure plates go up, as you can see, that is bringing up the fences. So that works so far. But the question is, is will this trap be able to keep them in? Or was this just clickbait? We actually need an animal to walk into our trap now. Um, anytime. Mr. Horse, I have a nice trap for you and to inspect. Would you like to? He's not interested. All right, we need another customer here. Would you like to enter into my trap? No? Okay, well, it doesn't seem people are too keen here, guys. Wait, I've got wait. Come on. Anytime. Okay, there we go. We've got his attention. All right, let's see whether he comes in, guys. All right, he's coming into the trap. Okay, Mr. Sheep, you just need to walk like a few steps forward. There we go. Here we go. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, it does in fact work. Look at this. The sheep can't get. He's like, please, please, please let me out. My life, life is a nightmare. nightmare. Oh, I, I almost fell bad. Um, should we let him out? Nah. <laughs> How to impress your Minecraft girlfriend tutorial? <laughs> what is this TikTok? Okay, why is it TNT? Okay, what is he doing? So we've got a lever in the center of those four TNT and then another lever with a redstone connected to all the rest of the TNT. Unless your girlfriend likes blowing up stuff, I don't quite see this working. Okay, turns on the center and then the outer TNT and now what exactly is supposed to... <gasps> Yo, TNT heart? You kind of need a super flat area for this hard to actually work. So I'm sorry, Mr. Villager, uh, this house, uh, it's uh, it, 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 it's no more. I kind of need this space. <laughs> Let's go ahead. We're just gonna make a giant platform up here on the sky. I'm hoping that should be big enough. All right, we'll try this out. We'll set grass block just there. Oh my goodness. Okay, that should do it. I'm hoping. So, uh, yeah, no, I changed my mind. I think it might actually need to be a bit bigger. So there we go. And then they had like a diamond, I think it was, with an Icelium, and then one block out, and then, oh boy, guys, I'm trying to remember the pattern from the video. It came out like that, and then all the way down. Oh, guys, we're really testing my memory here. Okay, one, two, down, and then, and then there. No, 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 it was here. I think. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, that's beginning to look just like the video here, guys. Oh, this is embarrassing, guys. Yes, one there, one here. All right, there is our TNT pattern. It kind of looks like a squid or an arrowhead. I don't really know, but we're going to put our TNT on each of those blocks. So now we've got our pattern ready to go. Now we need to have our lever in the center. Then they had another lever here and wired the rest of this up with redstone. All right, let's hope I can romanticize myself with Minecraft girlfriend here, guys. The first thing you do is turn on the inside. Let those go for it. Turn on the outside. Oh, no, that did not. That did not. That wasn't quite a heart. I did all this test that he did. Why didn't that work? I don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna watch the same video again. Maybe I copied down the pattern wrong. So it turns out I actually did get the pattern right. The thing I got wrong was I was supposed to be in bedrock edition. All right, this time we're going to line it up. All right, I think that should be good, guys. Uh, this should definitely light up. Uh, Mr. Chicken, I'd recommend standing away because we're about to go boom. Three, two, hit the outside layer. All right, give me my Minecraft heart. Oh, it worked. Look at that, guys! But your Minecraft hard to romanticize your girlfriend. Valentine's Day, that kind of already passed. Maybe your anniversary. I don't know, maybe you're asking her out on a first date, but this is the TikTok hack for you. There's a hidden place inside the temple. Well, duh! Everyone knows that under the pattern in the center, you just dig down, and there's a bunch of booby trap chests. How is this a viral TikTok? I, I don't understand. Do everything I do. Everybody knows this here. Do not hit the plate. Well, duh. And then you dig up the chest. And, wait, what does he do? Wait, what? You're telling me there's another hidden room inside the hidden room? That is inception to a whole new level. No, that has to be clickbait. I cannot hold the title of a Minecraft pro if this is real, guys. But well, we made it to a desert. Oh, okay. We found ourselves our desert temple. Okay, this one is very, very smushed inside a mountain. Where is the... Okay, let's jump in the top here, guys. We clearly can't get through the front. All right, so we're going to do the exact same thing they did in the video so that we know that I'm not stuffing this up somehow. So we, they dug down. Ah! 
Okay, that wasn't exactly how they did in the video. They dug down the side instead of falling down. I was a noob just then. Back into survival mode. We'll get rid of that plane. And then what they did, they dug here. They got rid of this chest, just like this. All right, bang. We're getting rid of that chest. And they dug back here. See, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. I knew it. It's fake. Wait, we're going to check behind all of these chests because maybe it's only behind one of them here, guys. All right. I honestly still think this is fake. Yep. Okay. Not behind this chest. We've already knocked down another one here, guys. Yeah, guys. Yup, all right. Yes, indeed it was. They scammed us, guys. This video is titled, How to Become the Flash. This already makes me think it uses mods in Minecraft simply because of the time. Wow. okay. He's built a giant water column with soul sand underneath here, and he's breaking out the sides and putting dolphin. Maybe this doesn't use a mod, guys, because I don't know how the flash relates to dolphins. And he's got Depth Strider 3 boots on. And now what? Game mode survival and... He's giving himself a speed potion, and he's got Dolphin's Grace because of the- Wow! The man is a heckin' zoom! So that definitely didn't use any mods there, guys, which kind of makes me think this might not actually be clickbait. Slash that set stone. Whoo! This thing is thick. Clear out this center bit. There we go. That should be big enough. Uh, bang. Set air. All right, set this bottom block here with our soul soil. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Slash slash set soul soil. There we go. All right, we've got that underneath. And on the top here, guys, we want to fill this all up with our lovely water. So let's grab that and slash slash set water. And then spawn in some dolphins, I think. And he just had a bunch of dolphins in here, guys, all the way down. Um, and I'm assuming this is important because it gives you the dolphins grace effect. Okay, whoa! Whoa, dolphins! Don't jump out! Okay, the next thing they did was we had the netherite boots and they were enchanted with soul speed 3 and depth strider 3. So let's grab each of those. Give ourselves this speed 2 potion. Whoa, switch into survival mode. Let's jump in here, guys. Okay, we don't have the dolphins grace effect yet, though. How do you get the dolphins grace effect? I need to Google this. So after a bit of Googling, I basically found out it's random. And then when I came back to my game, I had the dolphins grace effect. So we've got it on now. Let's go ahead, give ourselves that speed potion again. And in 3, 2, 1. Whoa, ho, Room! I am that. This is the coolest thing. Ever. This is definitely the fastest way to travel in Minecraft. How to get infinite emeralds in Minecraft. Yeah, yeah you heard flow? me right. This is a completely legitimate way to get infinite emeralds. First, what? you're going to need to find a librarian villager that has a bookshelf trade and a regular book trade. All right, okay. Once you have this, you'll then need to get a zombie and let Whoa, the zombie no, attack the villager. Shelf. Now that okay. you have a zombie villager, you can cure it using a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple. Splash potion Repeat weakness, this process apple. again right, until the villager is trading one emerald for a bookshelf and one book for an emerald. Yo, that now, is so cheap. use an emerald to buy a bookshelf. Uh -huh. Place the bookshelf on the ground and break it and to it get gives three you regular books. Three books. Go back to the villager and trade and the books for more emeralds. Three, you can, just keep you can do this process again. as many times as you want, but the villager will have <laughs> to restock right. its items frequently. But look what happened. I just turned one emerald into 13 emeralds in 12 books. Not too shabby. What? We're gonna build ourselves exactly what they had in the video. It was like a little set going on. But basically, we had this, and then we need a lectern here so our villager can become a librarian. So we'll put our villager here. Become a librarian, please. Like, turn right next to it. Oh, there we go. Okay, yes. No. Dang it. And wait, he didn't even become a librarian. Are you kidding me? Okay, we'll put our lectern there. Librarian, please. Look, I'll put, I'll put lots of lock turn. Look, I'm just asking you, please. Can you just be a librarian? We've got our librarian here. Let's grab ourselves the zombie villager. And the zombie villager needs to kill it. So we'll set the time to midnight here. There we go. All right. And we'll put in our zombie villager. We need some torches. There we go. And bang. All right, we need him to kill her. Go! Go, zombie! Yes! Any one of you. Just one of you killed. Thank you! All right, he's killed now. So we're going to go ahead. We'll get rid of those zombies here. Now we need to cure him using a golden apple, was it? And a splash potion of weakness? I think it was weakness. Okay. Oh, I really hope I got this right. So it's a splash potion of weakness and then a golden apple. Is that doing it? Oh, there we go, guys! Our zombie villager is being killed. Here we go. Okay, I think... How long does this take exactly? How... Is this a long process? So, it turns out it takes about four minutes for your zombie villager to heal. And boom, look, he's all back and well and good at health. And I also got very bored during that time. And so I built him a little house. And also made sure he can't escape this time. So now if we go ahead and check out his trades, you can see we've got three emeralds for a bookshelf and one book for an emerald. We need to get that from three emeralds to one emerald. And to do that, according to the video, we had to get him to uh, die to a zombie again. So let's grab another zombie spawn egg. Chuck that in. All right. Okay, there we go. Are you kidding me? You killed- you killed my villager, and you didn't turn him into a zombie villager. ARE YOU KIDDING ME?!
No, 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 I am done. I have tried this with like 500 billion villages. Not really. I tried this with five villages, but still it was a lot. I think it might actually be real, but I honestly don't know and I can't test it because everything just keeps going wrong. So you know what? I'll leave this up to you guys. I think it is real because we were able to get halfway, but unfortunately I can't confirm. Now this viral TikTok was made by Minecraft Universe. It looks like some sort of redstone contraption. Oh, a secret chest. <gasps> Hit him behind a bookshelf. Yo, that's so cool. How does this work? Actually, it's the cover up here. But, okay, there's a pressure plate. Oh, and you hide it with a painting. And then you throw an item on the pressure plate and it reveals your secret chest. Unlike the last video, the redstone for this actually made sense in my brain. So I get the feeling this is definitely a real viral hack. We have the pistons out here. And then below here, we have ourselves two chests. We grab ourselves those bookshelves. We can cover up the rest of this like so. And then this split was a space. Pressure plate, we gotta cover up the back here with a bookshelf. Cover left, right, and side. This should give us a single painting. All right, and bang. <gasps> it looks legit. The question is, is it legit? Let's go ahead, throw a bit of redstone on. Oh, and it reveals in your secret chest. And then you walk up to this painting, you pick up the item, and then your secret chest becomes hidden again. Yo, that is the coolest secret chest I've ever seen. I need this in my Minecraft world. Cool commands you can do at Minecraft. Okay, all right, I'm listening. It looks like he's in bedrock edition here, guys. Part 52. Okay, and it's execute command on fireworks. You turn it on, and now what? You use a firework. <gasps> what? That is destructive on a whole new... I need, I need this. So let's grab ourselves a beautiful command block. We'll chuck that down. We open this up. This was a repeat. It was always active, and the command... It was an execute uh, at a type equals firework, I think, underscore rocket... And then uh, tilde, 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 summon. Oh, let's go up the screen. Summon TNT. I think that was right. We'll give it a go here, guys. We'll put the lever on here. This needs to be need redstone, actually. Turn that on. Firework. That didn't work. What did I do wrong? Wait, what? Syntax error. Type equals firework rocket. Unexpected. Oh, fireworks rocket? It's got an S on the end of it? Okay, wait. Fireworks rocket. There we go. Okay, and... <laughs> Yo! Oh, my... Uh-oh. Wait, 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 we need tons of these. Woo look at that! Oh my god! The damage! Yo! Now that is what I call a fireworks display. This is how you can fast travel in oh, Minecraft. Oh, whoa, what? With those copy pistons? This system. Okay, we'll copy that Step down. to the corner of the piston. Corner and of the piston. And abracadabra lacism. Wow! <laughs> Holy moly! That's faster than, like, anything! Hold on to your underwear, guys, because we're about to fast travel into the next dimension. Or at least I'm hoping we will if this thing works here, guys. So, so what? The piston's got to be, like, there? Okay, yeah. And then that was all connected up with some redstone where the lever was supposed to be there. That should come up into there, around the side, and into our piston, just like that, guys. All right. And now all we have to do is stand here. And what did he say? Alakazam or blah, 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 blah. Hit the lever. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I forgot to connect this piston down at the bottom here to the redstone. That works. That works. Okay, so now it's all pushing into the center. Now we got to go ahead, stand in the middle. All right, bang. And three, two, one. Alakazam. Hey, are you kidding? I just got, I got, I'm just, I just got crushed. I just got, cr that didn't work. What? How did they do that? Is the mod a command? I need to know. We need to expose them, guys. Well, this TikToker can say goodbye to his career because I'm just exposing him right now. He used these two command blocks, guys. I figured it out. If we pick these up, we've got one repeating one. And I think he must have hid them just under the lever or something where we couldn't see the redstone. Like, I'm assuming he had the redstone, like, run down here. And then he had uh, this repeating command block that needs redstone. And it's basically an execute on me for a distance 300. And it's teleporting me in one direction really, really quickly. Just small amounts and then above that he had a chain command block that was always active and this one was giving you uh effect here giving the nearest player effect for a distance of 300 of levitation so if we go ahead and use both those command blocks guys let's see whether this does the trick in three two one back excuse did it quite work i must have made an error in the command oh okay that makes sense i accidentally put a space on the end of this command okay fix that problem now we'll see whether this works guys i'll stand on the center here all right, in three, two, one, bang, and there we go. Blast it off into the distance, just like they did in the video. And for our next viral hack today, you're going to have to watch the next video and subscribe to see that because uh, we're kind of out of time. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you learned something new, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, anyway, stream out. Bye.